Welcome. In this training video, I wanted to do a quick demonstration on how we can see the progression of uh, adjustments on a few scans, and we can use the center of force and the timing table to help us uh, move to a better balanced bite. Uh, in this case, we have uh, five scans, and the first thing you should notice in this scan is the uh, center of force icon. And you can see here, it starts in the middle, where my mouse is, it pulls to the left and then starts to go pull to the right. And towards the end, it looks like it's going to make a movement back towards 15. And so we have a general trajectory of uh, our bite pattern here. Uh, we also can see that 4 and 15 are dominant forces in this bite. And so when we look at this, depending on the doctor's um, prognosis or how he wants to handle the patient, there might be some idea that we want to get this center of force icon more down the midline of the bite and we want to reduce the forces on 4 and 15. Um, another element to this that's interesting and to be aware of is that the A to B area um, where A starts and B ends has a time evaluation and if we go up to our timing table in this pane and we make sure the timing table is open you can see that a1 and B1 are uh, time stamped and there's a chain or a there's a time between those and it says 0.62 seconds. Ideally the research that we've seen um, and you can always contact TechScan if you want to see some more information on this but uh, you want it to be under 0.3 seconds and so ideally we'd like to have this about half the time uh, where the A line is closer to the B, vice versa, and the black force line that rises isn't as long but more steep. So the steepness would imply that there's less interferences occurring and that the patient's closure is more instantaneous. All right, so when we look at this, the first adjustment might be somewhere along the lines of 4 and 15, again, depending on the patient's status and what else is going on. But when we click on scan 2, what a, a, a really good element here is you can see that um, the adjustments might have occurred on 4 and 15 but only one really worked. You saw a 15 drop in force we can tell because the color went from pink to light and dark blue but the force had to go somewhere so it looked like it kind of transferred towards 3 and so we still have some pink forces. 4 dropped a little bit in total force it went from pink to orange and the center of force is a little bit more dramatic to the right side. Uh, we're not getting that slight pullback towards 15. Now, a good element here to, for everyone to be aware of is just because the center of force is changing and it might be for the worse early on does not mean it won't end up. And we'll see that towards the end of this bite is that a single adjustment can really do wonders and change the bite dramatically. So uh, I guess the point here is not to get um, overwhelmed or concerned that slight adjustments are changing it and not to the uh, not exactly where you want to see it go because it could just change dramatically in an instant. And so here the next adjustment um, look at the A to B area it's getting a little bit more steep here in the uh, tail end of the closure from right about here to B. We dropped about a tenth of a second uh, in time. So we're getting closer to that 0 0.3 seconds. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and click on the next scan. And we can see this one, the steepness is still there towards the tail end. It actually looks like it extended, but there's still some delay between the A and B. The time went up a little bit. But what's really um, good to notice is the total forces throughout the arch have went down. So for example, 3 went from pink to light blue. 4 went from darker orange to lighter orange, actually originally pink. So we're starting to get some production here, some changes that are for the better. More spur, um, forces transferred throughout the whole arch. And it looks like we're moving in the right direction. Now the next scan here is on number 4. We can see that we get it very steep, more than half of the bite here. And so this early on section is something we want to look at. But the center of force, even though it's squiggly, it's getting tighter to the center, a little bit more S-shaped. The total forces throughout the arch as I rotate to 3D, just by clicking and dragging, you can see are lower forces. I think that's a big element that we, we get concerned about seeing just pinks, but we're seeing greens, 
dark blues and light blues, no pinks, orange being the highest force. Uh, the A to B area right now is uh, a little bit higher than we started, uh, but there are um, parts of that that are probably not as um, concerning since early on the A line looks like it's, you know, I can move it to a more accurate area and drop about a tenth of a second there. So the key here is it's getting steeper towards the end. You know, it starts right about here and goes, it starts driving up, less interferences. And then finally, if we go back to the B line, we can see the final adjustment probably be somewhere around four. And if we click on five, the forces are nothing higher than red, or actually there is no red here, which is a great piece. It's really a dark orange. Our timing table is at 0.36 seconds, which is almost half of what we started at and the center of force is really driving down the middle of the bite which is really um, beneficial it's telling us that the left and right side are getting closer and closer to equal forces uh, so this is just a quick example of how not to take the first scan and not think you can get to the last scan quick um, center of force pattern down the middle of the bite you get timing is getting reduced which is telling us interferences are being reduced and it's better for uh, overall balance. If you have any additional questions, you can contact TechScan or you can go to our online website and look for additional resources and our videos are available. Thank you and have a good day.